So here we are in Hamilton, about to go up in this Lancaster here. It's extraordinary for me. My dad was in Bomber Command during the Second World War, and uh, if you want the, the nerd factor, I have a, a model of this and other aircraft uh, in my study at home. I have no idea what it's going to feel like. Uh, I know it's going to be very loud. It'll be very emotional. Uh, we, we try to get permission to bomb a major German city while we're up there, but I don't know, bureaucrats do there, they just wouldn't let us. Political correctness gone crazy. But it um, should be amazing. We'll speak to some of the people involved, and uh, we'd like to wander around a little little bit inside, I think going to one of the turrets, but not, you can't go in the rear gunner position. Don't know why, <laughs> but you can't, but it's going to be amazing, so we'll tell you more later. Now, this is a joy of fight. If, if you're going into combat, you're being shot at, you must have the back of your mind that all the time, what if we're hit and getting out? Could you have me? You'd lose your, your, your sense of where you are, which direction you're in, smoke, dark, it would be terrifying. It really would. It's uh, quite sobering being in here. I shouldn't smile when I say that. <laughs> it's extraordinary. Incredibly noisy, incredibly smelly, incredibly bumpy, but uh, incredible. My uh, respect for them was always vast, now it's even greater. Uh, really quite something. Well, thank you so much. Well, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you for helping us. My with that flight, and thank you so much, that was, that was extraordinary, it really was. It's hard to put into words. I, I was genuinely moved by it. It's, uh, it happens on a lot of the flights that we do. Uh, people are brought to tears, you know, out of emotion or in remembrance of a, uh, a parent or a grandfather. Yeah. And uh, even this morning, the gentleman from England, Mick, uh, was, uh, was brought to tears just uh, being in the airplane flying. It was uh, quite unbelievable. Yeah. And the other thing you find often is uh, when we do fly veterans, uh, they say things after the flight in front of their families that the families say they have never mentioned to anyone ever, you know, things that happened during the war. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it is a moving experience yeah. for sure. Well, it, it's sobering too because I went up for 45, 50 minutes to enjoy the view and the experience and, and, and you know, it's, it's a bumpy flight and it's a very noisy flight and it's different from being in an airliner. And I was in the turret and I thought, it's beautiful, I can see the sky. If I was in that turret during the war, there, there'd be German war and Schmitz coming to try to kill me, terrifying. Uh, you would be frightened out of your mind. I would think so. That's what I have always thought, that, that these boys had to be so frightened when they went up there. I mean, they put on a brave face, but uh, I know they had to be frightened. Yeah. You know, when you consider the number of, of the air crew that didn't return, um, you know, that I can't see anyone having been happy about being there. Yeah. But I think, you know, there was such a sense of duty that everyone, like almost everyone, wanted to be a part of the war, yes. you know, regardless of the consequences. Yeah. Now, that was a 50-minute flight, and it, it, it was remarkable. I don't know if I'd like to be on the plane for three or four hours. I mean, this, this is not business class Air Canada, <laughs> but you're flying this to England? Yes, we're going to be flying it uh, from Canada to Coningsby, England, where the Royal Air Force Lancaster is based, a part of the Battle of Britain Memorial flight. It'll be approximately 18 to 19 hour flight through the Arctic <laughs> via Greenland, Iceland, and then off to Coningsby, England as part of our uh, trip to fly with the Royal Air Force Lancaster for about a month at different air shows and aviation events across the United Kingdom from Scotland and Northern Ireland all the way down to the south of England. So you'll be freezing cold, you'll have to wear thick parkas and so on, and it's, and it's a very bumpy flight, but someone uh, 
paid a huge amount of money for the privilege of doing this. Definitely. Uh, the privilege of doing this, this will be the last flight across the Atlantic for the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum's Lancaster Bomber. We did an auction on eBay, a worldwide uh, auction over tens of thousands of people took a look at the auction item and the winner, winning bid was $79,100 Canadian. <laughs> really? That was Ezra Levant, wasn't it? No, uh, no, no, no. No. A gentleman in the United Kingdom who uh, has a couple more nickels than we do in the bank yeah. was able to uh, come up with the $79,000. So he's going to have an 18 hour ride as crew. He's going to be trained up as to work as a crew member on the aircraft as well. Right. Now, you said the last flight. W why is that the last flight? Well, this will be the last flight across the North Atlantic. Yeah. Uh, the, our Lancaster hasn't been over in our museum service. It was over a number of years ago to Prestwick, Scotland for a special occasion mm. but the amount of logistics the amount of work that it takes to send this aircraft over a crew of up to 20 is going to be going away from home for a month and a half that's a significant of amount of time that we're asking to and a lot of our the team that's going over are volunteers yeah. this entire museum gets about 65,000 volunteer yeah. hours a year well, a quick plug here I, um, if people want to help and this is so much part of this country's history and the history of democracy and, and, and freedom website or email if they want to give any money just yeah. to help you do anything our website is warplane.com there are donations correct warplane.com there are donation buttons as well as our gift shop why well, I can assure you with our network, there'll be many people who are interested. Gentlemen, thank you so much. It was You're a real privilege. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, Thanks for coming out today.